Good morning, good afternoon. It is 12 o'clock on a Friday. T minus 15 hours till I go to Madrid, which I'm buzzing about. I'm tired as hell because the neighbor's dog was keeping me up all night. Barking, oh God, I tell you, some nights, honestly, I can barely hear myself drilling. It's absolutely terrible. Watch out the way, Mr. Postman, or I'll run you over. I am on the way to get a couple of shots for Ostrich Golf for the Instagram page. I'm gonna actually finally get my free wood reshafted after I snapped that ages ago. But I'm starting to think I need my free wood again. So I'm gonna get that fixed, come home, edit this video so it goes live when I'm in Madrid. So you guys have something to watch while I'm away. And then when I come back, I have footage of Madrid. So I'm absolutely buzzing at the minute. Day off. I'll have to play some uh, holes as well. <clears throat> Can eat with. Come on, Pennsylvania. No car wants to let you out. Do I take on the Audi? No. Come on. People are looking at me like, come on, you can get that crappy car through there. <laughs> Set off in third, man. Funny story, it's just happened. Sorry about the wind if it is a bit too windy. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I just went in to go get my uh, shaft re gripped. And I was talking to the pros and I was thinking, yeah, nice one, let's get it re uh, redone. He was like, oh, it's going to cost 60 quid. I was like, oh, right, well, uh, that's a bit much, isn't it? I was like, I can probably get a, uh, one, a new club for that. And he was like, well, uh, he started showing me these clubs, he showed me this ping one. And I was like, oh yeah, and he was just like, oh yeah, it's the uh, old, um, it's last year's model, da 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 da. And it said on the thing, 40 pound. <laughs> it actually, what it actually said was 40 pound off, which I didn't realize <laughs> it said that. And me thinking, oh, 40 pound for this brand new ping three wood with interchangeable loft and all the high tech things. Go to pay and pops up and it says 135 pound. I was like, what? Why is 135 pound? I think it's gonna be 40 quid. I should have known really, I'm an idiot, but um, yeah, so then I was just like, I can't pay that right now. And um, I was like, can I do half and half? So what I'm doing now is that I've got a brand new ping um, three wood, the G. Still got the bloody uh, barcode on it, brand new. Uh, that I'm paying in two things. So I've gone from being bothered about paying 60 quid for a new shaft to now paying 135 quid for a uh, <laughs> brand new um, G3 wood. Just remembered as well that I haven't got a. Uh, golf towel at the minute so this is going to be a few round of golf because uh, my clubs are going to be absolutely filthy. Should have thought about that really. And the fact that I'm walking around the course with a bloody six foot tripod, I'm going to get a lot of stairs. <laughs> hey ho, it is what it is. The energy is good. Right, so I've had a little warm up, nothing major. This is the first time I've been on the course properly after like starting my new swing changes um, in 2018. So. It's uh, a lot different, let's put it that way. So this is a par three, it's about 150 yards. Oh, we're playing on winter green, so we're probably playing about 130 yards. I think that guy was just waving at me to tell me that the hole is closed and that's not a winter green. I'm not too sure till I get down there, but I hope that swing looked good because that was the best strike I have ever hit. <laughs> swing changes are working. Let me show you this. I've literally stiffed this to about a 
fault. Well, it looks like a fault from here. Always deceiving, but I hope, I bloody hope this is a bloody winter green because this is an awesome shot. Cannot wait to miss the putt though. <laughs> Let's have a look. I ain't got a clue what he was waving at. Here we go. Yeah, it doesn't look like a winter green to me. Oh well. Definitely waving to say the course is closed, but that was the shot. That is the divot. Awesome. Yeah, I now just hit the best strike of an iron I've ever hit. It was only a nine iron, but still. Best shot I've ever hit on that hole. And since having a new swing, and it's not even a proper green. <laughs> Just my luck. Anyway, let's hope the rest of the course is uh, open. This hole is absolutely amazing. I love this hole. It's so tough though. It's par four, it's about 400 yards. Dog leg left. You hit it down to the middle of uh, that flag that you can see is the next hole. You hit it down to the middle and then it's dog leg left facing up. Usually it's about a five iron to the corner, which is touching about 200 yards, and then it's about 150. As it's a bit wet, I'm going with five wood. Absolute unit of a five wood, this. Don't know if you can see that, but I just ripped five wood. Not very high, there's a bit of a bullet. Caught it a bit thin, if anything, but it absolutely flew, and that's exactly what you want on this hole. It's got right to the corner. Could have been a bit left, a bit more left for a perfect shot, because that uh, obviously makes the second shot um, shorter. <laughs> Speak. Makes the second shot shorter, but still, I should have like a. You're playing about two clubs up at the, at the minute, that's why. So I've probably got a five iron or a six iron or something in here, which is uh, making it obviously the course a lot harder. Two shot, two uh, clubs up on every shot is it's a big difference. Bring on bloody summer! All is there. The second shot is uphill, and that's an extra club for the uphill. Plus the wetness. You're looking at how far we got. We got about 170, 180, 180 yards. You're definitely looking at about five iron here, just to get the like up there. Okay. I don't even have to look at that swing. I don't want to look at that swing in the editing. I just uh, I don't know. lost my balance, I suppose. Everything felt fine. I was going, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to wait a good shot, and then I just lifted up, picked up, did summer, and ended up putting a bad shot. But. That's the thing, is getting the confidence from the range and taking it to the course. That is the hardest part, but still grinding, still grinding. Like I said, this is like a practice round. Practice, but on the course. I'm not taking anything too much from this, uh, obviously I know I've got a lot to uh, work on. It's just nice to get out on the course and actually uh, hit some balls that are decent balls and not range balls and actually play the game of golf like it should be played. What I'm going to do now is just get a little shot for my uh, for Ostrich Golf's Instagram of just the bag. So uh, this will be a nice little shot. There we go. 
It's not even that windy today. It's quite nice. Enjoyable. Right, this is going to be an actual score of mine. I can't keep it raw in one take because you'll all unsubscribe and all 70 of you will leave me with zero and I'll cry like a little girl. So, please, Scouts Honor, what, whatever they do, Scouts Honor, this is every shot I take on this all. It's a par five, slight dog leg left. Um, one of the hardest holes on the course. What you've got to do basically, your first shot is all the way to that corner down there and then it goes round that corner. And this is every shot I take, promise. Probably usually hit a um, driver, but as I've just spent 135 quid on a bloody new free wood, I best start using that. <laughs> Wasn't the cleanest of strikes. I'm not gonna be honest, a bit toey. I kind of think the swing was a bit crap, but either way, I've hit it. I forgot to mention it's out of bounds left. And considering my bad, bad shot is left, I've lost quite a few balls on this hole. But went left anyway, snug in the rough on the left hand side. But it's this shot that I always have to play because I, I hit it to the left. I always have to play this shot and it's. You have to set it yourself up for your third shot because you can't get there in two. Set yourself up for third shot, but you've got to play it over the trees. And uh, yeah, it's quite a hard shot to get right for position wise. This is what I was talking about, look. That is my divot. That's how wet the ground is. There's my ball with a huge clump of mud on it. Out of bounds is there, so you can say, look, six yards to the left, you're out of bounds. Six yards to the right, you hit the fairway. This is the shot you have to play because it's round that corner. So now my layup is gonna be like an eight or nine iron over the trees, but to set me up for my next shot. It's a tough shot. Probably gonna go with a nice eight iron, get it over. Massive clump of mud on my ball, so God knows where it's going to go. Woo! Maybe I should do these more often. Absolute great shot, perfect positioning. I might even be able to get on the green here from on in three. The trees that I've just gone over. Hit an eight iron. Bearing in mind, massive clump of mud on my ball. I think I've done absolutely fantastic here. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So what's happened is, I've came over all these trees here I've got 150 over here. And the hole over here. Over a nice little dike, raised green, bit of trees here on the left that could cause a little bit of problem. But let's see what we can do. Okay, that was the worst shot of the hole. Got it over the dike, just fatted an a seven iron. I mean, fat. Wet grass, which caught it a little bit fat and it sounded like it just took up a bloody carpet. Either way, I don't know. Just when I think my swings, I can feel it, I can feel it. I can feel it on my backswing, I can feel it on my backswing. Adjust the ball. Go to swing, 
and it just just doesn't do it and I don't know why and I don't know how I think you just got to keep getting the feeling keep getting the feeling putting the work in and trying to get that onto the golf course but it's tough so now I'm just short chipping onto the green there's the die that I just missed got about 50 yards elevated green oh I might leave it zoomed in like that so you can see where I land it Nice little shot, put that to about six foot. So I've got six foot for par. And I think this is the second or third I've sold on course, so not bad. So, bogey, not too bad I suppose, pussied out on that putt so bad there, literally I was just too scared to hit it because of the big uh, break in it, but yeah, happy with that, I'm not going to be speaking to the camera again now, so the next shots that you see are just me playing, the last two, two holes I'm going to play, two more, the 6th and the 7th, par 3 and a par 5, after that I'm going to go home, edit this, get something to eat, pack my bags for Madrid and uh, while you're watching this I'll be in Madrid right now probably watching uh, Real Madrid so yeah next shots are just gonna be uh, me playing you watching hopefully some good golf so please like this uh, video if you liked it if you like this sort of course vloggy sort of thing more than everything else I put out on this channel please let me know by liking the video commenting down below and uh, sharing with your friends. Really trying to make this uh, channel grow. So a, a like and a share would do absolutely loads for the channel. Um, let's try to build this together. Like all the um, social media down below, Ostrich Golf, my, my own Instagram, etc., etc. And uh, may all your golf balls go straight.